What's up YouTube, Dan here from War Games, bringing you, as we said, a budget version of the Diablos deck. Now this is only using three structure decks, that is right, three of them. So depending on what your locals, if your locals does a deal on them, you could get three of these from £21 all the way up to about £30. No more, no less, you should be paying any more than 30 quid. So all we have done, uh, so Joe has put this together for us, is using three of these structure decks, um, put together a what we consider to be the most competitive version of this deck. I'll take you through it, I'll explain why we've got what we've got, uh, and the ratios we have. So we start off with Triple of the Boss Monster, Darkest Diablos. Now you could technically cut this down to two, because unless he gets banished, um, you can use him for pretty much everything in this deck, because he can come back from the grave, or he can be special summoned from the hand, so he's never really that dead. Triple Lilith, you want to see her as early as you possibly can to search out any of your um, virus traps. Triple Ahriman, uh, this is kind of there for your draw power, search power um, for either the Lair of Darkness or of course you tribute her for the draw or search of another dark monster. Uh, double Vanity, uh, sorry not double, Triple Vanity's Fiend, um, purely because we play in this Fires of Doomsday that we got in the deck uh, and that can be treated for a dark monster so you, you can get vanities on the board along with your Diablos and you kind of like lock your opponent out. After that you can then use Vanity's Fiend as a uh, fodder for one of your viruses if you want to or you've pretty much locked your opponent out. If you've virused your opponent already and you can lock them out of a Vanity's Fiend you've pretty much got game on board there. Double Duke, uh, Shade the Sinister Shadow Lord. Uh, again, he'll put all your work in for you previously. Get rid of all your troops summons, bring him out on board, move your place forward, uh, and then sit on him if you need to. Double Archfiend Cavalry, um, because if it is destroyed by card effect and sent to the graveyard, you target an Archfiend... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, Archfiend monster in your graveyard, except a special summon it. So you do have the ability, after you've tribute summoned, to get into your Archfiend... Emperor, and uh, the best thing about it is you can normal summon him without tributing. His original attack becomes what it is, but then you can use him as a virus because the virus actually counts the attack in the grave unless it specifically states it needs to use the attack on the field, which is why stuff like Facilia Dragon is very, very good. You can bump this up to two if you want. I took it down, uh, Joe had it at two, I took it down one so I could put in a Chaos the Mega Monarch because you're going to be tributing summoning this for a Dark Monster anyway, so it'll get both its effects off. Uh, we've got the one tour guide as well, uh, just to get to your Lilith as early as you possibly can. Um, not ideal, but again, in a full powered version, you're probably going to Lyra if you've got rank 3 place you can go with as well. Uh, and then we've got two Stygian Street Patrol, uh, again, because if it's destroyed by uh, a monster by battle and sent to the graveyard, you inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original level of that monster in the graveyard, times 100. And then you can banish this card from your graveyard to special on one Fiend monster um, with 2,000 or less attack from your hand, so he kind of helps get you your block monsters out onto the board and of course your new monsters are fiends as well so they can be very very useful uh, especially summoning them out on the board so you can normal summon and get a bit more out of them. Onto the spells of course we play three of the field spell in this budget version three layer of darkness you want to be turning your opponent's stuff into dark you want to be tributing it you want to be pushing forward. Three fires of doomsday now this is really really good because it special summons two doomsday tokens fiends, darks, level ones um, and in defense position those targets, uh, tokens cannot be tributed for a tribute summon uh, unless it's for a dark monster, which all your deck is, and you cannot special summon, uh, you cannot summon other monsters to turn you activate this card. Doesn't really matter, but you can normal set. Um, you activate this during your opponent's end phase because it's a quick play, and then you just go off next turn. Uh, Triple Lord Darkness, all dark cards, any of your dead cards banish for the plus two. The one boogie trap. Now this is a little bit oof, but in this deck it's not too bad because you can discard two cards. Target one trap in your graveyard, set that target, uh, and then it can be activated that turn. So you're going to be putting loads of your viruses or gone through your viruses already, which is why you don't want him at three. You only really want this at one. Uh, so it's nice early uh, early game if you've already used a virus, but it's better late game. As long as you've got the hand of advantage to ditch it, um, then use your board, uh, circle around the Diablos, and then hit your opponent with another virus. Speaking of viruses, we play two Grinning Grave, two Deck Devi, two Full Force, and the one Eradicator, um, just because you can only play one Eradicator, and 2-2-2 two, two, two works more than enough because they're easily searchable with Lilith. Uh, and then finishing off, we've got Triple Mind Crush. Now what you've got to remember with Virus decks is the amount of times you actually get to see your opponent's hand. Every time you activate a virus, you get to see their hand. You also get to see what they draw as well from then on. So Mind Crush can be incredibly powerful. Let's say you go first turn. Now a first turn kind of combo is very, very easy. 
um, with one card. And with one card, you, you're going to devastate your opponents. So, you've got a Lilith on board, and as long as you've got a Diablos in either hand or grave, which is why trading can be very, very good in a power play as well, you tribute off your Lilith, you get to add one of the viruses. Now, you add any of the viruses that your opponent chooses, you give them the option of the three worst that you don't want them to deal with or that you want them to deal with, um, or of course you put whatever ones you want. So any of those four combinations, you're going to end up with one of them to your hand. Um, you then get to activate any one of those because you're going to get the Diablos from your grave or from your hand because you tribute off Lilith. Then you've got either one of these that you can activate. You then add into this concoction, like a Lair of Darkness, you can treat your opponent's monster. You add in a Mind Crush, you get to see your opponent's hand. Let's say we get Eradicator, we use Eradicator, do that. And we take out, let's say our opponent's opening six, we take out two spells, right? If we've got a Mind Crush set as well, we can take a third out of that equation, and your opponent has to play you with three cards. And all you've used is two cards from your hand, so you still have four cards that you could have technically set, and that could be Mind Crushes as well. Uh, but that's just an, a small, small example, um, and this is the budget version of the deck. It's still very, very useful, very, very powerful, uh, and if you did go to your locals to do, or if you are going to your locals to do the Lair of Darkness structure deck, this could actually help you kind of see what's worth um, playing around, because the combo still remains the same, the consistency just isn't there, because you're only allowed to play with one of each of the structure decks. Regardless, I hope this has helped. I hope this has given you an idea around the deck. We will be bringing you more full-powered and more in-depth versions of the deck uh, very, very shortly. Uh, just to kind of show you what the deck can do at its most max potential uh, and what the deck can do on its budget scale right here in front of you. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys. As always, happy dueling. Also, YouTube, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.